I'm Mara Eakin from the AV Club. We're in Nashville today for Pioneering, talking about Dolly Parton. Dolly's one of those people that have been in my life since I was, yeah, like, since I can remember. I've read somewhere she's written over 3,000 songs, just like, wow, she keeps her business tight, you know? She <laughs> keeps her hustle strong, for sure. I hope like, we never find out anything bad about her. You know what I mean? I hope, like, after she, if she no, dies, like, we never, we never like, will. We never... We really, we never will. I, I, I believe Dolly is 100% authentic. Like, you know, her backstory is more real than Bob Dylan's and more real than John Lennon. You know, she is, like, the real deal. What does it mean to be here at RCA Studio B? It's incredible. It's being, like, you know, you get a little taste of, like, history and just, like, the feeling of so many songs that have been recorded in here. It's like walking through a museum and getting to, like, paint something in there. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Anything in particular about the song Jolene that you chose? I've always loved that song. It's a huge challenge to sing it, but I, I like... Uh, seeing a part of Dolly that isn't so, I mean, she's a very confident woman, but like her just being vulnerable and be like, there's someone who has something more than the gorgeous, talented, bright person that Dolly Parton is, and she's afraid that she could just swoop her man up and take her away. felt like that before and I think lots of women do and it's like it's a darker Dolly song I think that a lot of her her stuff she'll go she goes all over the place but that one's a little like tougher. She puts on this very you know almost cartoonish kind of persona but but she is like so authentic. She grew up like in like a one-room shack and yeah Sevierville, Tennessee, and it's it's cool. It's like I can relate to the, her Me background. Too. Like I grew up in the country, and I remember like just going down to my mailbox, or whatever, as a little girl, and put on like all of my fake whatever jewelry and stuff, and glam myself up to just walk down the road. Somehow, like always wanting some sort of like different lifestyle that I obviously didn't grow up having, but it was fun fantasizing about it and wanting to be a musician and travel and see things that I'd never seen before. And I, I mean, I can relate. She's had tons of number one hits on both the country and pop charts. You know, mm -hmm. she's, she's had more hits than any other female artist. Someone with that much of a history and just that, that much to be proud of and just say, this, this is what I did, this is what I've accomplished. She's still so like down to earth, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know her personally, but that's how <laughs> she comes across. Mm -hmm.